Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this nail polish remover hack. I found this idea online. I think it was Instagram and I wanted to give it a try. For this one, we're going to be needing a dish sponge. I'm using the most expensive one that I could find in the store, an empty jar. You can totally use a glass jar or a medicine jar like I am using here. We're going to be using some acetone or nail polish remover. And well, I'm going to start by separating the sponge from like the the other part. I forgot the name of it, but pretty much we only need the sponge. And it's okay if it breaks. Um. We're going to be using it anyways as it is. Yeah, I'm just going to roll it. And I'm just going to place the whole thing inside my jar. And again, if your jar is bigger than mine, you're going to be needing two sponges or maybe even three, depends. Since I was trying this, I found it a bit awkward to just dip my finger in there or my nail rather. And I just decided to take my scissors and just, well, separate the whole thing, just making bits separated like that. I found this a bit more handy. So once I have all my like stripes or blocks of uh, sponge, I'm just going to gather them all together. And then I'm just going to place the whole thing in. I thought it was going to be messy because you're gathering loose pieces, but it was easy to do this. So once that's in there, I'm just going to pour your acetone or nail polish remover. That's how much I used. I would highly suggest you to work on a... Um, you know, piece of plastic or a napkin or something like that because this can happen. So just to prevent your acetone damaging your table. I'm just going to try it now. And I decided to test it out with colors that I know are real hard for me to remove, such as green. It's one of those colors that just stain, always stain my nails. And yeah, uh, this is pretty much how I remove, like, work my nail in my sponge. And I gotta say, I thought it was not going to be removing like the whole nail polish and I thought it was going to be like my nail was going to be stained, but um, it worked really, really well, I must say. And it's kind of like easier to just dip your finger in there and yeah, just let the, the sponge do its magic. And then I decided to still give it a try because I couldn't believe how fast it was to remove this green color. I went with this red. I hate this shade on me, to be honest. I don't like it at all, but I just wanted to give it a try because it's a really pigmented color, one coat, and you're good to go. And it's pretty much the same, just super fast and kind of like easy. Easier than with um, cotton, because when you're using cotton, sometimes it stains your fingers when you're removing your nail polish, if that makes any sense, and it doesn't happen with this method. That's how my nails look like at this point. As you can see, the jar or the sponge rather has a lot of color in there and that's the ones that I just removed. But that's just on the top of the jar, like the sponge. With time, as you remove more color from your nails, uh, it's going to be more stained. Nothing is going to transfer, as far as I can tell, to your fingers. But then again, it's going to look like gathered in there. So maybe after one week or two weeks, you want to kind of like pull the whole thing away from the jar and then just turn your sponge upside down and then work with the part of the sponge that is in the bottom. I hope I'm making some sense here. Just keep in mind that a big part of your finger is going to be dipped in that acetone. If you don't like acetone or just something as strong as that, make sure you use something more gentle as a nail polish remover. But with those kind of things, it's just like a given that you are going to be doing that. But other than that, I, I liked it. I, I was surprised. I, I thought it was going to be like a total fail. But it was easier and it's kind of like more affordable than using cotton because you're going to be using the same sponge over and over and over again until you pretty much want to, you know, clean the whole surface, we could say. It's a pretty good way to just have everything kind of like ready to go. So yeah, I'm just going to be decreating my jar so it doesn't get lost. So if you like this project, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. And don't forget to share it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.